Hi everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel So Little Time and my name is Karen. So I hope you're all doing really well and thank you very much for joining me today. Today I am here to share with you my plans and inspiration for a gift to November which is the sewing challenge that's running throughout the month of November by Alison from Sew Like Dotty and Adam from Adam Sews. And this is a really popular sewing challenge that's been run throughout the community at the moment and it's encouraging you to go away and make your handmade gifts ready for Christmas. So on the 31st of November you need to sort of display your homemade gift on Instagram for a chance to be in with a prize. So there are some wonderful sponsors who have stepped forward to support this challenge and they are offering some wonderful prizes. So please do get involved. And I'm going to share with you an array of ideas for you to make homemade gifts for your friends and family. And also ones that I've made in the past, hopefully to just give you some inspiration really. And there are a few that I am planning to make, which I haven't actually made for um, before. So that's uh, something new for me. And um, before I go into the crux of this video, I just wanted to say that it is blowing a hooli outside. I'm in my conservatory and it's really heavy showers. So I'm hoping I can do this in one take without there being a downpour of rain because we've got a corrugated roof and it makes a hell of a noise. So I do apologize if you hear any cracking noises as well, because it does tend to do that um, when the sun goes in and out. So we shall see how we go. I may have to stop and start this video. We shall see. Um, but yes, yeah, so before I get stuck into the video, then I will just let you know what I am wearing. I am wearing a Tilly in the Buttons cocoa top and I've made that out of cotton jersey from Felicity Fabrics. I'm wearing a pair of of dungarees in a teal cord fabric which um, is actually a copycat pair that I'm I sort of copied from a ready-to-wear pair of dungarees and I've got on an infinity scarf by Apple Green Cottage. So let's get into what I am planning to make then. So firstly I am going to share with you some things that I have made in the past that I think would be really suitable for you to go away and make homemade gifts for your friends and family. So firstly, I have here a needle case and this is made out of felt. And as you can see, I have a pleaked on the front a uh, little bird and I just used my sewing machine sort of to create the beak and the legs. And then I just sort of a pleaked on the felt pieces. And then inside I've got um, the little fabric sections where you can put your um, needles in and that I think that's just a really nice simple gift especially for somebody who does sewing. I'm always um, keeping one of these in my sewing bag so that I can uh, have them to hand when I need to do a little bit of hand sewing and people are always borrowing them at my sewing social as well. So that's one and that is just literally something that I came up with um, I didn't follow a pattern for that at all I just sort of did my own thing and I did make an array of different ones where they got different designs on the front but I have since given a lot of them away because I didn't need to keep them all for myself. Um, then there is this pin cushion that I made a long long time ago and I absolutely love the size of this it's a really nice big squishy one and this um, was actually a pattern that I followed from the So Pretty Home Style book, which is by Tone, Tony Fenanger, Fenanger um, who is, I think she's a German um, author. And I love this book. This was one of the first books that I had when I first started sewing. And there are some really beautiful projects in here, not just for Christmas, um, you know, gifts that you can make throughout the whole of the year. And I've used this ever such a lot, but this one is the one that does have the um, pin cushion Sort of template in there so as you can see here it is um, so I copied very similar to this style one there and um, it's got the, sort of the dimensions that you need to cut it I think in the back of the book um, and then what you have to purchase is a wooden ring and I got that just from um, an online retailer but I'm pretty sure you could probably pick them up from Hobbycraft um, so as you can see it's in the bottom that's a bit dirty I've had this one years and mine is actually broken if I can feel inside I think I've dropped it on numerous occasions so it has actually broke so I do need to replace that but that is one of my favorite pink cushions and I did have an embroidered um, detail on there but as you can see it has worn away over the years so I definitely do need to replace my pin cushion. The next thing I'm going to share with you is actually a make that I made last year and it is a quilted water bottle cover and I made this for Harry last year because he was he's on the front of the house and so his room gets the coldest um, so he was complaining that he wanted to have a hot water bottle and I was a little bit conscious of the fact that I didn't want him to have just the rubber against him so I made this quilted water bottle cover um, and that just works really well and it is in a, a sort of a quilted 
style fabric. So I quilted the actual design on there myself um, and I sandwiched in between. I think it was a fabric that had got a sort of layer of uh, foam or um, something a little bit like batting behind it. And so that enabled it to be quilted and have that sort of squidgy effect. And it makes it a little bit thicker so that you're not going to burn yourself. Um, it doesn't have the hole in the top, but I literally just keep the hot water bottle in it and I just pull it out like that and then fill it um, from the top. So that's been used ever such a lot. That was a really nice um, one to do. Now this one came from the book, um, I think it's called Sew or Stitch by Kath Kidston and I followed the instructions on there and you just kind of go with the water bottle size that you've got and draw around that. So yeah, that was a really nice one to make and that, like I say, gets a lot of use. And I think I was actually making that during my Vlogmas last year. So if you did want to have a look at how I got on with doing that, you can always check out my previous Vlogmas from last year. Um, then I have also got this to share with you, which I made in the past. So this um, infinity scarf is made from just an off cut of Jersey fabric that I had left over. And the dimensions that you can get for this scarf is from Apple Green Cottage. And I will link everything that I talk about today in the description box for you. But you can also make um, a sort of neck warmer version. So it's a lot less fabric. So if you've got any scraps of Jersey, this would be absolutely perfect. Um, and I just use two different colorways to create mine. And you just obviously pop that over your head and it sits around your neck very much like this but it doesn't double round like this one does because this is a little bit longer so if you've got smaller sections of jersey this would be really perfect for you mine is slightly narrower than the dimensions that are given to you on the apple green cottage um yeah i think that's the right uh website because um i didn't have quite enough fabric for this one but this works better for me because um it sits a little bit closer around my neck, so I feel that that works better for me. Um, so if you have got smaller sections, you could just make them slightly smaller. Then a practical gift that you could make, I've got one that I made earlier here, is a peg bag. Um, now mine is a little bit grubby and a little bit faded. I've had this ever such a long time, but this was a make that I made for myself and I have made one for my mum as well. And you just pop a coat hanger in the top um, mine is actually broke, I think, which is why it's looking a little bit bendy. Um, but yeah, it holds ever such a lot of pegs in there and you can wash it, you know, and it is a really nice sew as well. And I think that would make a really nice gift for somebody if you kind of stitch this up and perhaps put some nice new pegs in there. Um, and then I just appliqued on the front here um, some washing on a line and I got that pattern. I think it was from this book here, which is called Sew Fabulous Fabric. Um, and in there you've got a, a variety again of gifts that you could make I mean this one's really nice if you've got somebody who um, would like a height chart I think that's really nice um, on there and then there's a cushion on the back here where you can do some kind of um, quilting design and then a pleak in the middle but this is where I got the idea for the washing bag and as you can see I kind of stole the idea <laughs> of the um, washing line on there um, and I really like how that yeah how that stitched up that was a really nice sew and I think that would make a really nice gift but this is a really nice book as well and this is so fabulous fabric which is by Alice Butcher and Ginny Farquhar um, and it's also got uh, like little bags that you could make in there rucksacks um, and there is also some nice little purses and things so yes there's a lot of gifts um, in this book that you can make. So that's another book that I would highly recommend alongside this one, which is the So Pretty Home Style. This uh, lady who is the author of this book, um, she does a lot of other books, which I have got, but I've put them to one side because I didn't think I was gonna share anything from them because some of the makes in there, or the projects, they're a little bit chintzy um, and a bit quirky and not for everybody. Um, yeah, so these ones are a little bit more sort of where you would a lot of other people would like the gifts out of those. So moving on to um, a make that I've not done before, but this one was made for me. And this is just a zip pouch um, made out of looks like some canvas fabric. And they have kindly put my um, handle on the front, so little time, in some vinyl fabric, um, which you can get from Happy fabric UK they do vinyls and I think you just iron these on um, and I really like that and I really do like a zip pouch I'm always using them for different things obviously you can use them for makeup you can use them for beauty products this one has got all my elastics and things in um, for my sewing but you could also use it for any type of sewing paraphernalia that you've got and uh, 
this one has got a little tape measure pulley on there as well. So I really like that. So you can make all sorts of different fabric pouches for different uses. Um, so I just think that's one that you could definitely use to make um, for friends and family, you know, like using up some fabric scraps, maybe um, some fat quarters, that would be a really nice project to do. And you obviously don't have to put anything on the front. You could just use a nice patterned fabric. So I had this gifted to me by the lovely Sam from So Let's Sparkle with Sam. And she made me this coaster, which I absolutely love. And she has used two pieces of felt, but they are quite a um, sort of thick felt. They're, they're not really soft. So as you can see, they've got a bit of structure to them. And then she has free motion machine embroidered my um, handle on the front again, and done this lovely sewing machine applique. And I absolutely love that. I think that would make a really nice gift for somebody. And she kindly did that for me to cheer me up when I was having a really bad day. And she brought it along to my sewing social a little while ago. So thank you so much, Sam, for that. I absolutely love it. It sits on my bedside table upstairs and it always gets used. I am really careful not to spill, obviously, any coffee on it though but that's a really nice idea if you wanted to do maybe a set of four um, and put a ribbon around it and gift that to somebody I think that's a really simple idea and that would be quite a quick make as well you don't have to put words across the bottom if you're not very good at doing that on your sewing machine but yeah I think they're a really nice gift idea so some of the sewing um ideas that I want to have go at doing for gifts for myself this year for my friends and family I'd like to make um some of those corner bookmarks that you put on the edge of the page and I'll insert a photo of what they look like so you can get the idea of what I'm talking about. Not made any of them before but they are such a simple sew and I think they're really useful because who doesn't read a book you know or a magazine or whatever you could put those on the edge for sure so I'm going to make some of those um, I also want to do for my boys this year is a book pillow and again I'll insert a photo of that idea um, because my boys they're always bringing books home from school or from the library and they really do enjoy reading um, and I know when I put them to bed at night they always leave their little lamps on and they tend to read a little bit before they go off to sleep so I think this would be a really nice addition to their bedroom they can have it on their bed they could put their book in it with a little teddy or something so that's what I'm going to be making for them this year um, yeah so the other thing I was thinking of which would be a really nice idea which I've not done before and I'm hoping to make these for my friends and family as well is to make an eye mask and to go with that um, some of those makeup pads so I suppose you could use like some bamboo kind of fabric or some even some toweling fabric if you've got some um, towels that you don't mind cutting up you could make those for washing off your makeup um, or you know just cleansing your face maybe but I thought an eye mask in that would be quite a nice little set now there is an eye mask um, pattern in this book here which is the teal in the buttons make it simple book um, and this one is in the shape of a cat as you can see but you could just make a normal sort of eye um, mask shape um, and find a pattern online I'm pretty sure there'd be quite a lot if you just googled it so that is an idea that I'm thinking of doing and um, I might even make some for my boys as well because um, especially James and Thomas they obviously share a bedroom together and one of them's a lark and one of them's a night owl and so in the morning one of them switches their lamp on and the other one's complaining that they still want to stay asleep so I thought an eye mask might be quite a nice idea to, so they can pop it on if one of them's got the, their lamp on um, and hopefully that might stop the arguing in the morning <laughs> With the light going on off on off all the time so yeah i thought that would be a really nice idea for them as well but i think it would just be nice as a gift for friends and family as well because i've never used an eye mask to sleep in so i don't really know what it's like but i wouldn't mind making one for myself and giving it a go as well on those occasions where i'm struggling to sleep maybe well, i don't know if it will help um but yeah so that was uh, that was one idea um then um i think those were the three things that really i wanted to make for my friends and family um, the face wipes, the eye mask, book pillow, and also the bookmarks for the corners. But what I have been making, which is actually crochet, and I have shared these before, um, is some chocolate orange covers in the form of a snowman head. And you can make a variety of different sort of... Um, you don't have to use a snowman, you can make a Father Christmas. There's loads of tutorials on YouTube. And this particular one is um, by a lady who has... Um, a YouTube channel, I can't remember, I think it's called Octo Pudding, and I'll link that down below. So I actually purchased the pattern 
from her website so I could follow it without having to follow the video because she just she does chat quite a bit in the video so it makes it quite a long video to watch if you're making this but I really enjoyed making this and just to give you a demonstration here I have a chocolate orange <laughs> I promise I'm not going to eat this this will be gifted to somebody um, and then you just sort of pop the the uh, <laughs> him on top like that um, and yeah, I think that's quite good. I mean, this one, I have put eyes in. I don't think maybe that was a good idea. Actually, it makes his eyes stick out. I don't think that's quite going to work. My goodness. I usually put um, some felt eyes on, so that's not quite worked. Right, okay, I'm going to have to um, <laughs> rethink that for that one. Luckily, I've got another one on the go, so it doesn't take me too long to make these. Uh, probably just an evening. Um, so, yeah, usually I would have felt eyes on there, and then you've got his little carrot nose. Um, but yeah, it's a good idea, you know, just as a gift to put the chocolate orange in. It was funny, when I was um, making this the other day, um, I said to, I can't remember, I think it was Harry was in the back room with me. We call that the back room, by the way. And um, Simon said, I know you've ate a chocolate orange already because there was a chocolate box in the, um, <laughs> in the recycling bin. I said, actually, I haven't ate it. I said, it's up there, sitting underneath this. <laughs> and at that point, I hadn't put the eyes on. I was just checking the depth of it to make sure it's going to fit okay. Um, but yeah, that's just a really nice idea uh, to give to somebody so um, they can bring it out every year if you have some chocolate oranges at Christmas. What I tend to do with the boys, we all have one, and um, they've all got different coloured hats and stuff. Um, I put them on the um, fireplace in the front room, and so they all sit along there, the five that we've got, so nobody's allowed to eat their chocolate orange until after Christmas Day. <laughs> And they sit there like a decoration before Christmas. Um, yeah, so I really like those. I think they're a really nice idea. And like this, like I say, there are lots of different um, variations of what you can make. So I'm going to have to redo that one. I, I don't think I can take the eyes out. I don't know. I'm going to have, have a go at taking the eyes out of that. And then I'll just have to put some felt ones on because that doesn't quite work, does it? Because it makes the eyes go a bit weird. Yeah, they stick out funny. That's not quite right. Okay, that was a that was a go at having a go at doing it with plastic eyes. Um, but don't do that. It doesn't work. So just <laughs> stick some felt eyes on, and I just use my glue gun for that. <laughs> right. So um, sticking with the crochet theme, then I recently made a headband, um, which I used the tutorial from um, Jane from Loopy Mabel's Crochet, and I will link that down below as well. Now I've made mine slightly narrower because I've got a small head, but this usually has five rows of this granny kind of stitch. Um, and that is really nice. I've worn it ever such a lot. It sits just nicely over my ears. So if you want like a headband and not wear a hat as such, and it works really well if you've got a fringe as well. So, you know, it just sits across like that. It's a really nice, quick and easy make. And Jane does a step-by-step -step tutorial on her YouTube as well as the written pattern that I think goes alongside it. Um, but that would make a really nice um, gift for somebody. And then I also have made some primrose wrist warmers which is also by jane at loopy mabel's crochet um, and these are a really nice um make as well they're really quick and again she does a step-by-step -step, um youtube tutorial and they're just like this i find them really useful uh, because then i've still got my fingers free for whatever i'm doing and they are warm enough to wear just like that and if i do tend to get a bit cold i just kind of put my hands in like that as i'm walking um but yeah they're really nice and then there are some different sizes that you can make um, i actually made one bigger than the other by accident i wasn't keeping count of how many um of the sort of stitch style that goes around and I made it one it's uh, actually one sort of pattern too big and as you can see that's really quite loose on me so that's a little bit annoying because I don't have any more of this um, wool left so I've got one that's bigger than the other as you can see it has worked out slightly bigger but they will still get worn and I will just make another pair in a different colour wool but yeah they are a really nice quick and simple make as well so you could put that together as a nice um nice gift for somebody and I have made those in the past for gifts as well but um, I think if I was to make this headband as a gift for other people I would just do it as per the pattern and make it wider because not everybody has a small head like I do. Um, another thing I was thinking that you could possibly go away and make is some badges. Now on my dungarees here I've got this little bee badge which I made using sort of free motion machine embroidery by Poppy Treffery and I'll show you one of the books that I've got of her and this is called Free and Easy Stitch Style and she basically teaches you how to do um, free motion machine embroidery in here and there are lots of different um, gift ideas. You can make a doorstop 
there. Um, there is actually even some curtains in here. Um, there is a picnic blanket. There is also an apron in there as well. Um, and you can do a headband like this lady's got here. Uh, there is these picnic blankets and also some napkins. So there are some nice little projects in this book. Um, and she shows you how to sort of do the free motion machine embroidery style on those projects. You don't have to do that, but you could just take the ideas of the gifts from there as well. Um, but this is where I got the idea for the B badge. And I just did that on a bit of like, um, it's, it's not calico, it's a bit like canvas fabric. And then um, I cut around that and then I put a pin on the back, you know, one of those pins that sticks out and then it's got the little clasp on the back. And I just got the backs of those from Amazon. So that's quite a nice simple make that you could do a little badge or brooch for somebody. Um, you know, it can be in any design really, but this is a really nice book as well. So I highly recommend that book. Um, I also have a few other books here just to share with you. Now, some of these I, I had for Christmas last year. And these are by Minky Kim, which is another author that I really like. And there are some really beautiful projects in here. So this one's like got um, pencil case style or makeup bag. You can do pin cushion um, in the form of a little uh, edible thing. I can't remember what they're called. And yeah, there's some um, like a nice quilted bag in there. I suppose it depends on how much time you have as to what you want to make for your friends and family. Um, but there's bags in there, zip pouches, um, there's some coasters and things like that. There's also like little bags where you can put your um, iPhone in and headphones or, or whatever. But yeah, the thing I really liked in here, which I think would be a nice simple make, is coasters as per this, where they've applied on some little houses. And like I said, you could make like a set of four. I think that would be a really nice idea for somebody. So just like that, really. So this is a really nice book. And this one's called Zaka from the Heart. Um, so I haven't made anything out of it as yet, but it is a really nice book to flick through. Then I've got this one, which is also by Minky Kim and Kristen Esser. It's called So Illustrated. And again, it's got some really, really lovely um, gift ideas in there. This one's got like a um, key ring style thing. This one's actually a needle case on the back there as well, similar to what I've made. Um, and then you've got some lovely uh, sort of picture designs that you can do for people to hang up on their wall. Um, there's also some bags and things in there to make as well. Again, this is a really beautiful book. I still haven't made anything from it as yet, but I will endeavour to do so <laughs> over the next sort of um, year. And then you've got a mug rug where you can pop your cup of tea or coffee on there um, so you don't burn your table. And I suppose it makes room for a little plate of biscuits to go next to it. But yeah, some really nice sort of designs in this book. So I highly recommend that one as well. I have this one for Christmas, which is called Bench Pillows. So I've been meaning to make a bench for our shoe bench, which sits in the hallway. Um, and I, I really like this design. So I'm hoping to do this one. Um, this is quite a thin book. And this one is uh, by Chris Malone. So it's Bench Pillows for All Seasons. So there's lots of different sort of ideas. Um, like, quite like this one. This one's got uh, Wellingtons and an umbrella on for rainy day. I think that's really nice. There are some that I'm not so keen on like this one, but you can do your own design. You know, you can just use the sort of um, dimensions to make your own. This one's got birds on and stuff. So yeah, there's some really nice um, sort of designs in there. There's a Christmas one even, <laughs> you know, if you wanted to bring one out at Christmas time. So I do need to do that um, at some point and put one on my um, my shoe bench. But yeah, I really like that book. And so that was just sort of to give me some ideas and to give me the dimensions uh, that I would need. So those are the majority of the books that I've got with gift ideas in. I do also have these two books, which again, by um, Tony, Tony Fernanga, which is the German lady um, I was telling you about, and she's got So Pretty Christmas Home Style. And in this one, it's got lots of Christmas um, sort of decorations and ideas. Some things are a bit, like I say, chintzy and a bit weird, um, like, you know, these, <laughs> for instance. But if you like that type of thing, then you, it would be something quite nice to stitch up for yourself or to have as a decoration around the house. But it also has, um, yeah, I, actually in the past, I think I did make, for my nan, whether she actually ended up wearing them or not, or don't know, was these like mittens and a scarf and stuff. So I did make that for her one time. I, probably, I don't know whether she wore them. She probably thought, oh goodness, what am I gonna do with these? <laughs> um, 
but yeah i mean you know there is some like i say really random stuff in here but you've got like hanging hearts and some hanging apples um and stuff which you can make into like a bunting style then you've got these like angel people um and angel busts yeah really strange those things but um yeah and there's even a, like a little teddy that you can make in here and i think in the back of this there is a um one of those rocking horse um i can't remember what you call them where one of these <laughs> and i did make one of those for my niece and I don't know if they've still got it, but it wasn't my, the bestest sewing in the world. It was when I first started out, but I basically copied this and gave it as a, as a present one year. Um, but yeah, there's some nice things in there, you know, stockings and things. Um, this one I really like, which is again by Tony Fernanga. And this one's called Craft, Crafting Christmas Gifts. They also do a spring one as well, which is a really nice book. Um, and this has got lots of Christmas decorations in. So although they're not technically gifts, you could do them as gifts to give to people. Um, but it's also got some really nice things in there to make for yourself as Christmas decorations. Um, it does have some stockings in here as well and Christmas gift bags. So that's really nice. You can, you know, do a bottle bag. You can do one which has got chocolates in or biscuits and things in. Um, you can also do like on a hanger a bag where you could put all your Christmas um, cards in that you're intending to send off in the post um, and then these are the stockings so you've got a long one here and a short one here I've made the short version and it comes out every year um, and we put things in that um, yeah it's just a really nice design that was really nice to make actually and I, and I did applique all the, the little bits on it as well I can't show it you unfortunately because it's to pin put away in a Christmas box so it will come out at Christmas time but yeah there's just some really nice things in there and I have used um quite a lot of the projects in there so basically that's everything that I wanted to share with you today so I hope that's given you a few sort of ideas and inspiration at least um moving forwards and I am really looking forward to cracking on with the makes that I need to do for Christmas presents for people so like I say I'm going to be doing the corner bookmarks the book um pillows eye mask and face wipes basically so they should be fairly quick and simple makes because i don't have a lot of time so i can't do anything too extravagant um but yeah hopefully what i have shared with you has certainly give you given you some ideas and um, what i will say is i will list down below all the people who are um on the vlog tour after me and yesterday you would have heard from sam from so let's sparkle with sam she had some wonderful ideas i really enjoy watching her anyway and um, so she she gave you a lot of ideas and then tomorrow we have two people and it is sharon from sharon sews and tiffany from Husio handmade so i will link all their channels down below and i, I will also link the playlist that alison has put up on her um, youtube so you can go back and have a look at all of the other people who have already uploaded as well because i'm pretty sure out of all of us who are uploading our plans and inspiration and that kind of thing you will get so many ideas that you can go away and make your own gifts for your friends and family so thank you very much for watching today i hope you have enjoyed this video please do give me that all important like and subscribe if you haven't already that would be wonderful and i shall see you all again soon take care bye